Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and I make my living and my family's living by searching garage sales, thrift stores, you name it, finding valuable things, particularly vintage things, and selling them online. And today, we're going to talk about the top seven dopest finds that we found this week. Let's get into it. Now before we get into it, I do want to remind you we do have a giveaway going on. Uh, in the description below is a link to a video. Go like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment, and you can be entered to win a $50 eBay gift card. We do the drawing on August 1st, so get over there so you can get a chance to win it. Alright, now let's talk about the things that we found this week. Um, and it's kind of interesting, it's basically broken down to uh, bell bottoms, vintage bell bottoms, and black t-shirts. Uh, that just seems to be how it went this week. Uh, first, I want to show you this guy. Uh, this is a pair of orange tab Levi bell bottoms. Uh, they are not the 646 or the uh, 684, uh, but they are pretty dope. They're a pretty wide leg, uh, pretty decent flare. They've got this blue patch on the back. Uh, the uh, lot number is 380. I honestly don't have a ton of information about this particular pair though I believe it probably is likely to have a little bit more in common with uh, early moving on jeans uh, by the look of it. Um, pretty cool pair. Uh, it seems like the person that owned this pair actually probably donated all their bell bottoms. Uh, so let's look at the next set of bell bottoms. Alright and the next one is pretty cool. I've never heard of this brand but it's Psycho Blue Outlaw. It does appear to be a more uh, modern uh, bell bottom but it's certainly flared really well. Uh, these actually look very well constructed. The denim is nice and strong. The rise is not very high. It appears to be fairly low rise. Uh, so maybe this is like a 90s uh, edition. It was not made in America so I imagine it's probably 90s. Uh, but this is a pretty cool pair. Construction is nice. The denim, it's got some nice whiskering on there. So a uh, really cool pair of jeans right here. I'm not sure the value but I imagine that a quality pair like this should go between 50 and maybe 70 bucks. Going back to Orange Tab Levi's, we have this pair from the late 70s. Um, they, the, it's pretty, the tag is pretty worn out, so I can't really tell the model, but I'd imagine it's a 646 or something. Um, it's pretty good. It's got the light, uh, weight, uh, denim, so it's pretty soft. Uh, nice bell bottoms. It's kind of cool too, because this actually has someone sewed, sewed in a patch, a little sailboat there. Uh, so I, I actually picked this up from a store called Flashbacks that I go to every so often. Um, it's a little vintage shop, a little hippie vintage shop that has, typically has lots of cool vintage clothing. Picked that up for like nine bucks. Uh, I, I imagine we'd probably get 50 to 75 as well. Now for the black t-shirts, we have this interesting t-shirt right here, single stitch on the Fruit of the Loom. Now this says, there goes the neighborhood. It's a picture of uh, uh, Nagasaki or Hiroshima, I can't remember. Um, but it's got you know, sort of it, that sort of puff paint feeling. I don't think it's puff paint exactly. but it's a it's like a class it's like a the class of 94 so it's like a high school but it's this is such incredible like a dope graphic for a high school and sort of controversial graphic for a high school to have um it's pretty wild uh definitely wanted to pick it up it was a couple bucks so i have no idea on the value of this i imagine that because it's unique and the, the style it probably could go you know 30 to 45 maybe. Now the next one is this Troy Aikman t-shirt. This is a pretty dope t-shirt from 1992. Uh, Troy Aikman Super Bowl uh, MVP. It's great graphic. Single stitch on the Salem sportswear. Uh, nothing on the back. Uh, this is a solid t-shirt. Obviously a Hall of Fame quarterback uh, for America's team. Uh, the Cowboys are incredibly popular so I imagine this doesn't last very long. Uh, pretty cool t-shirt if I do say so. Alright now for the next two big hitters. We found this on the same day actually. Pretty cool. Uh, and the first one is this Elton John 19, I think it's 1998. Uh, Elton John solo tour. Uh, super dope. Uh, the print is just so cool. I mean it's like, it's perfectly worn. It's 
faded just enough. It's This is a fantastic looking and feeling shirt. It's not single stitch, it's on the Mark Athletic tag. Apparently it was Denise's. Uh, but dope t-shirt, uh, I think I've seen this going for like $50-ish, so I imagine we'd probably get around there. All right, now before we get to the number one item, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and to enter into the contest link below. All right, now for the number one dopest piece we found this week, and it's this corn t-shirt, the Follow the Leader uh, t-shirt from 1998. This thing is sick. It is double stitch, but it is on the older giant tag. Um, the story on this was actually pretty dope. I just stopped into one of my local thrift stores uh, because I hadn't been there in a few days and I was just going to check up on it like I normally would. And uh, I didn't find hardly anything and I was just sort of like, alright, well I'll just look at places I don't normally look. So I just walked over to the women's like, t they often mix t-shirts and blouses together, like other frilly tops. Um, but I walked by and I saw the graphic, or I saw the tag. And then I looked at the graphic, and of course this is definitely a men's size XL uh, corn t-shirt hidden right there for a dollar. That's right, one dollar for this thing. I think these go between 100 and 150, uh, depending on size and wear and all that stuff. So uh, super excited to find this piece. This is super sick. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. Later.